Hey everybody, good evening to you on this Tuesday here. Uh, mostly uh, some pretty nice weather out there, although we've had some showers time to time. They've kind of just been holding in this one spot, uh, kind of this broken line uh, with the heaviest of the rain that we've been finding near Dickinson, although just a <clears throat> few light raindrops out here at the moment. Looks like another little tiny shower here, maybe just to the west of Bowbells, that area there, um, off towards Burke County. Other than that, pretty quiet. Uh, we're going to have uh, mostly clear skies back off towards the northwest with some clouds hanging on towards the southeast. It's going to give us overnight lows of the 40s uh, for most spots. Highs tomorrow, we're climbing back up into the 70s. A few spots across our east could get uh, or see highs here in the 60s, but should be a really nice day out there. Uh, Dickinson not even looking at much in the way of rain. Now, there will be a chance for a few isolated showers, perhaps some thunder by later tomorrow afternoon. Those are going to be primarily across our northern counties. Uh, <laughs> getting her camera switched around there. But uh, you can see uh, chances for storms do come in on Friday and what looks to be a much warmer end to the week. Looking at Minot here, seven-day forecast features temperatures getting up to near 80 degrees Thursday and Friday, but then cooling down into Memorial Day weekend. Bismarck, same deal here. Temperatures will be in the low 80s by Thursday and Friday, and then we'll cool it off into the weekend, or especially the second half of the weekend, as a uh, fairly potent system looks to move our way. Uh, we'll have the latest on your Memorial Day weekend outlook coming up here in just a few minutes at 9 o'clock. See you then.